Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to my channel. So a while ago I shared a picture of my lasagna on Instagram and honestly a lot of you have asked for the recipe. You commented, you DM me asking me for the recipe and I promised you I was going to share it very very shortly but unfortunately it got postponed and then it got delayed again and again. And I'm really sorry if I've been absent and I haven't been sharing any recipes, any videos uh, but I'm finally back. I'm fully motivated motivated inshallah i'm planning to share a lot of recipes so guys enough talking let's jump to the recipe so let's start off by preparing the meat sauce so in a wok i am going to add a bit of oil so i'm going to add in one fourth cup of oil and once that's hot i'm going to add in four garlic cloves which i finally chopped and i'm going to Fry this for just a couple of minutes or until the garlic is slightly golden brown and once that's done I'm going to add in two medium onion which I've finally chopped. Now I'm going to keep frying this for a couple of minutes about two to three minutes or until the onion is slightly uh, translucent and it has reduced in size and next I'm going to add in my minced beef. So I'm using here frozen uh minced beef and i'm using about 700 grams because i love like my lasagna to be very meaty so i'm going to fry this on high flame i've also added more oil you want to keep stir frying this until uh, the the beef has turned uh, golden brown and you know the smell of it is is fully gone then i'm going to season it with a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of red chili powder and half a teaspoon of uh, uh, cumin powder you can add any spices that you like and you can add as much as salt as you like so i'm gonna keep stir frying this really well on high flame until it's uh, nice and golden brown uh, after that i'm going to add in 300 grams of fresh mushroom which i finally chopped i'm using chestnut mushroom here and i like to use fresh mushroom because that's what gives um a uh, tastier lasagna um, after that I'm going to add in a thin of um, chopped tomato I'm also going to add in one fourth cup of meatball sauce this is a ready made uh, that you can buy from any grocery store also uh, please note that I have fried the meat for about 10 to 15 minutes before adding the tomato sauce and uh, next I'm seasoning it with some rosemary some basil leaves and uh, some oregano i'm using all here like dried seasonings um, if you don't have this this is totally fine you can just skip it now with my spatula i'm going to stir everything well so that everything is nice and mixed and after that i'm going to cover uh, the pan with the uh, slid and i'm going to let this simmer on low flame for about 20 to 25 minutes or until the meat is nice and fully tender I'm preparing my lasagna sheets so I'm using here a dried lasagna sheets and I have a pot filled with boiling water and what I did is I just season it with a bit of salt and then I'm going to add in the lasagna sheets for this recipe I'm using 10 lasagna sheets make sure that you are boiling the lasagna sheets three to four sheets at a time and not more than that because they will stick together I've tried like uh, boiling them all together once and they all stick together because I'm using dried lasagna sheet this is what happens but if you're using fresh lasagna then that's totally fine you can boil them all together now going back to my meat sauce uh, 25 minutes have passed and uh, you should see that the meat is now fully tender and there's a lot of liquid but that's okay just turn the heat all the way to high and now I'm going to season it with some more uh, ingredients so I like to add ketchup if you know me I love ketchup so I always add that in my tomato sauce and then I'm also going to season it with a bit of this uh, sriracha sauce you can use any hot sauce that you have I'm going to stir this really well and I'm also going to add in one triangle cheese um, this is optional again once you've added that you can now uh, stir this well and taste it if it needs more um, seasoning like salt or something else go ahead and add that 
but for me I've tasted mine and it's perfect so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn off the heat and then I'm going to set this aside for later meanwhile I'm going to prepare my um, bechamel so if you've seen my previous videos you know how to make this so basically in a deep pot I'm adding in 200 grams of butter and once it's fully melted I'm going to add in 1 fourth cup of all-purpose flour I'm going to stir this really well so that there's no lumps and once everything is nice and stirred I'm going to add in 400 ml of milk and I'm going to stir this really well I also like to add a bit of water to make the bechamel sauce a bit thinner and not too thick and then I'm going to also add some cheese so you can add as much as you like I'm using here mozzarella and cheddar cheese you can use any cheese that you like or available to you I'm also going to season this with some ground black pepper and a bit of salt now I'm going to stir this really well and you can taste it if it needs more salt go ahead and add that if I've also added uh, some oregano I've added also more milk if you feel like um, the sauce is too thick you can go ahead and add more milk and yeah that's it for the bechamel sauce so once that's done I'm going to set this aside so now that my lasagna sheets my meat sauce and my bechamel is done it's time to assemble the lasagna so what I like to do is I like to use um, a deep casserole that would fit my oven and I'm going to take the bechamel sauce and I like to spread that first uh, just a, a little bit next I'm going to layer um, the bottom with uh, some lasagna sheets so you can see um, I'm going to use uh, two lasagna sheets in uh, in one layer actually it's one and a half uh, so that like all the bottom is fully covered next I'm going to top it with um, the meat sauce <clears throat> and then I'm going to uh, sprinkle on top of it um, some more bechamel sauce and after that I'm going to uh, top it with uh, some grated uh, cheddar cheese and you want to repeat this um, this process four times so you have like a really nice and tall layer of like meat um, pasta bechamel sauce once you reach the top of your lasagna I like to add the rest of the meat sauce and then I like to add a bit of bechamel and top it like with a really generous amount of cheese uh, again I'm adding mozzarella and cheddar cheese together uh, and then I like to sprinkle on top of it some more dried basil and dried oregano just to give it a nice uh, color now that this is ready I'm going to pop this in a preheated oven for about 20 to 25 minutes and uh, I'm keeping the temperature on uh, 180 uh, degrees Celsius so you know that it's done when all the cheese on the top is nice and melted and it's bubbling just remove it from the oven and it's ready to be served and yeah guys you can see it's really delicious it's nice like it's there's like enough meat enough sauce and a lot of cheese and that's how I like my lasagna I hope you enjoyed this recipe and I hope that you learned something new and you can use this for your next um dish again a lot of you have been requesting this recipe and i'm so sorry that i haven't been active for so long and yeah guys that's it for the recipe i hope you enjoyed it uh, let me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see next and i shall see you on my next one bye